Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the start of a new Let's Play. If you want to uh, know what happened to the William the Bastard campaign, uh, there'll be a channel update going up. It should have already been up. Uh, please just uh, take a look into that, save me repeating myself. Uh, now what this is, is there was, um, let's call it three things which I haven't done with this game. And there's going to be a new DLC coming out, so I'd like to try and uh, finish that up. One was play a... Uh, a non Norse Republic. My Norse Republic of Ireland was a bit overpowered. Uh, the other thing is I haven't played around with the Sons of Abraham, you know, uh, trying to get people elected as a Pope yet. And the other is I've never um, you know, sort of played within Byzantium and with all the extra things that, you know, the Basilicus can do, you know, blind you and um, he has uh, sort of like a different rule set to what the catholic christians have i think he can revoke titles and things like that as well so it'd be interesting playing in there and trying to hold off the um you know is it like the, the, the turks hold the turks off effectively um so what we've done is i've created a mod and we're going to be playing as partition nick of doom he's just nick do nick of the dynasty doom but for some reason it's saying nick of doom uh which yeah we'll go with dr nick of doom um and i thought well the story behind it is sort of going to be that the original Duke of Lesbos uh, changed his duchy into a merchant republic. He saw, you know, Venice and Amalfi profiteering off the trade posts in Byzantium and decided that they needed a republic for Byzantium. Um, I stupidly called the mod a republic for Constantinople. Uh, I think that's because originally I, I wanted to you know, be in Constantinople, but you sort of need a county, so I thought, well, yeah, we'll go with the Isles of Lesbos. And sort of be similar to Venice, you know, as it's separate island, although we do have a land link. Uh, but yeah, uh, so let's just click on him so you can see quick. No, actually, let's just get straight in and I'll show you the other guys you on that screen. Unfortunately, I've got a stupid coat of arms, uh, but I've got the customization DLC, so I'm hoping it'll let me change it. Uh, but let's have a quick look at the Republic. We have all the houses, and actually the ones that I've picked properly. We have the original Duke of Lesbos here, a uh, house. Vakalis. He's apparently heir to a barony as well, but I think that might just be because he's him. Um, also, uh, these two characters are completely random. These two have been taken from... Oh, oh, the other three are existing characters in the game, but I'll get to that. There's myself, Nick of Doom. Uh, starting off as 18, both these characters. Uh, this is Adam, by the way. I did a Google search for Jewish names, uh, because he is of the dynasty of the Jews that live up here, uh, but he's a distant relation. He's an attack. He's lived in Italy, or lived in Italy all of his life, and he's ca he's been expelled. Effectively, I think that's what we're going to say because it, it usually happens by Italy. And he's brought all his money to join this venture of this new republic. Uh, but me and him are actually both the effectively the same character with random traits added. Yeah, you know, uh, in the when you're making a mod and you make a character, you can literally just put a line random traits. Uh, so we're both a team. Uh, but we've got random traits, so we'll see what they are in a minute. Uh, this guy here, I believe... Oh, he's the current heir. Oh, cool. Uh, but yeah, he is... Yeah, uh, Duke of Spoleto. So... That's that Duke's territory. Can I just get on the... Oh, that's the De Jure Spoleto, but he has a lot more territory than that. Direct vassals, that's what I want to see. He is of this guy. So he's been, you know, near Venice and near Amalfi, his family, the entire life. So it's their chance to sort of like jump in and have a counter movement to the um, current trade republics. He's also very low down in the line of succession. He was never going to inherit. Uh, so he knew coming on here. Oh, yeah, because that's the. Cur he doesn't have an heir. He should have an heir. I purposely picked him because he had an heir. Well, anyway, the heir has apparently already died, but yeah. Uh, we, we've all got some babies to make. <laughs> That's why one reason I tried going for actual families with these two. And the last one is a Carling. He's a prince of, is it West Francia? But again, he's very low down the list and unlikely to inherit. Uh, so that's why we picked him. Uh, so again, a Carling who's not likely to get any land himself, so has come off to play in the Republic with his family money. Um, he's the existing character, so... Uh, intrigue. I'm going to die to him. Anyway. 
So that's the uh, the houses sort of said, and we're in the Isles of Lesbos, which is not. I was originally thinking like we were already at war. What are we at war with? Oh, the conquest of Sicily. <laughs> yeah, that's not to do with us. We'll, we'll leave them to to that. Uh, I wanted some land officially in the, originally in the Sea of Maran, as close to Constantinople as I could. But then I liked the idea of the islands and uh, being able to say Lesbos a lot was, you know, uh, a slight deciding factor in that. I'm going to start the timer now because I think most of my original rabbling has gone out of the way. Uh, we only have a domain limit of five, so yeah, we're not too bad there. Let's just check out on what stats we've got. 32 Marshall. I think we're going to... Holy Warrior, that's probably why random traits... We are a lunatic, so it's usually me. Hedonist, genius, strong, brilliant strategist. Yeah, we've got a lot of martial here, so we probably have to do a good bit of fighting ourselves. And what's that do to our troops? We can raise 500, and I think at the minute we only have our, you know, our one little thing. Now, as I've not really played as a Republic that much, what I'm thinking of doing is we have two choices. We only have one uh, trade port limit at the moment. And we either take our capital, which is never going to be too brilliant, and I wouldn't mind moving from the island. Um, long term, I'm either thinking, yeah, we go back to Italy and you have to get in all the trade ports there, then taking all the cities, then like lots of the counties, try forming a kingdom of Italy. Um, or we might even you have to be in the Byzantine Empire for so long. If we grow ourselves enough, you know, and like say have trade ports everywhere, try and take some, you know, a lot of the counties along the coast as well. We might even go for a overthrow the emperor himself um it's not like my 13 colonies let's play where i'm trying to be loyal in this case we're just doing it for ourselves uh the you know you know our, our current head patrician the duke over here he might be loyal he's not bad stats the ambitious uh, he might not be like loyal and lustful yeah i yeah, no, sorry, he didn't have children, but he was lustful. That's why I picked him, because I knew he'd make some quite quickly. And it was in the right territory. I also like his shield, you know, the shells there. Uh, but, yeah, he might be loyal. Uh, the Jewish guy, uh, where's Adam? Vassals. <laughs> By the way, I googled Jewish names and got a list of them. And Adam was the first one that came up. That's why it's picked. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, he's, well, he's humble, content, arbitrary, paranoid. He's not going to die off. Graeminence just gives some fertility bonus. So he should be all right there. Uh, they, they all should. And I think the other two will have heirs, you know, being Carling and Duke of Spoleto. But it's a case of who would want to take it. Uh, because it's taken them out of their normal thing. Adam, do you like me? That's the opinion of his liege. And he don't like me. Mainly because I'm an infidel, so that's fine. Uh, it's to be expected. Let's pick an ambition. Oh, wait, and I think we're going to go for Constantinople as our first trade port. Because all these cities, it's actually going to help out the Basilicus quite a lot. He's going to make a good bit of money there. And this is going to be a very important trade zone. It's not our capital, but I'm hoping we can out-expand the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? The locals. And I think... The sea links counters direct. So after Constantinople, if we go here, here, and then to our capital. So like the first four, if we do that, then I think we'll be connected to our cent uh, trade post. But I want definitely this. It's going to cost a lot. Um, it's costing 2% more. Because of that. So 2% of 150 is going to be free. <laughs> Let's just pay it. Yeah, first trade pot going. It's got to make a lot of money. And definitely if we go sort of like that, we'll have control of the Sea of Marana. The other. This is, trade-wise, would be worth, yeah, tons. It's such a narrow point. That trade post should be worth a lot. The game isn't going to you know, play it. It's going to be worth more, but it's going to be worth a lot. Now, we also need a wife. Um, sort by stewardship, because we might be able to get... Fortune Builder, Midas Touched. I was hoping a week. As in, yeah. I was hoping for a lustful lady as well. Is there any lustful ladies? 
I'm probably going to struggle to buy a wife. Uh, so that's not going to go down well. That's lustful. She's 16. She's lustful. She's got... Slothful. I don't think she's going to be a good candidate to... Oh, and I don't have to pay anything. Yeah, let's take it. She's going to make lots of kids. We're, we're a, you know, a hedonist. I saw Lustful, yeah. We're, we're at Lustful and a hedonist. So, <laughs> I don't think Brilliant Strategist gives any, uh, no, not any more um, fertility, but we should get a lot there. We have a terrible learning skill compared to everything else. But that's stewardship. To be honest, no, that Marshall. <laughs> uh, how did Adam come out? Because he was on the same random as us. You know, in the game files, he's exactly the same. So we go to our liege, vassals, Adam. Adam was not that good. Yeah, you know, we checked him out before. But he's a better learning than me. Let's see. Rule heir and married. We're working on that. Pick an ambition. Because we've already selected to be get married, let's choose to get married itself. Become paragon of virtue. We're not going to do that with hedonist, are we? Uh, become exalted in a moment. We might try that because every kid that we marry off, we're going to get a lot of prestige. Um, yes, let's do that. Get married and that's going to tick over straight away. We've already got the trade post going. Um, caught. This is what we want. Are you our best? 14. You're definitely the best. No. A point. Sorry, that's why I wanted to click on. Why do you overlap? It, like, there would be good. Oh, wait. Our best other option for Marshall would be a 1. I don't think we're going to have many people to leave flanks. And I clicked on the wrong thing again. Uh, 7. Yeah, you're the best. This is terrible. 11. You're the best. Can't see what you were. 4. You're the only choice. Are you at least... An Italian Catholic. So, yeah. Definitely on the castle. What we're going to do here is... Improve religious relations. Because we can't... Pos oh, we could. We could try to convert the Aegean Sea to Catholic. But at 4%, I don't think he's going to do that good. Although he's as likely to annoy the Pope as make him like me. Let's get him over there. And see if we can get him as a contender for the College of Cardinals. Why don't I have a best leading candidate? I should. I have a guy in Rome. Okay, I can chuck money in even when I don't have a leading candidate. That's... Okay. Papal suitability. 450. I don't think suitability is all that comes into it, but we'll try that. Because I believe... Italian is a plus 200. That's why I'm Italian in this. Uh, secular power will try for more opinion. And virtuous traits and learning skills. So if we do get a son who's very uh, learned and maybe has lots of virtues, we'll try you know, giving him a bit of secular power and then trying to see if we can't get him to be in the Roma somewhere. No heir of my dynasty. That's fine. We've got that to be working for. Okay, there's a war, but we're not involved in this, so let's just speed up time. Uh, Patricia Nick has gotten married. Do we get gold or do we get prestige? Okay, well, we'll accept that first. Then we can't pick an ambition yet. I can't skip past this. Um, let's take the gold. So I'm pretty sure build ambition to get married. That's fine. He paused. Big ambition. Right, have a son because that's an improvement to fertility as well. We want to be looking into our... We're we'll the only one building a trade post. Did the second one get built here? No. Uh, well, we'll see where that comes off. Maybe... I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, if this hasn't been taken via GNC, our actual one will take that and try to work on it there. Republican trade zones, obviously, no one's had time to build one yet. But let's go to the Republic itself and have a look at our house. How much do things cost to build? 
if we say for now that we need to save up like 400 because that's the majority of it, the mansion is a straight trade post limit increase. And I think that's what we'll go for first. Your troops. More like cavalry, more troops. More ships. Improved stewardship, that's new. Or different, should I say. I don't think there's any other buildings that do that. Um, well, obviously there is. I, don't, I mean, for another class. Learning as well. A monthly piety. They all require the great mansion too. So let's start off by thinking, you know, saving up for the mansion. Uh, we're not going to campaign. I think it's going to be a while before we're suitable because, you know, he's going to get in first. And then I think he's got siblings. Although it's not showing any actual heirs. Unknown successor. Okay, despite the fact he's in a family, because of the way the Republic's working, he might not be, you know, he might not actually have anyone to help out. Uh, so let's let some time pass. Hopefully we can pick up a lover. Uh, the most serene... I recognise your... Oh, State Inquisitor. Okay, yeah. Wait a minute, you didn't ask me. You just made me the State Inquisitor. Now, we're not going to uh, kill anyone using the thing, because I think the... Uh, for intrigue, because I think the... Uh, Republic, that seems to be a bit overpowered, but we will try all the other. Is there any intrigue we can do? Choose a plot. I don't want to do any of the killing. And there's obviously no trade ports to take at the moment. See my wife dead. I don't know who any of you are. All people I could kill, but we're not going to. Now, where is my dynasty? Hopefully that'll be sorted. I do have a lustful wife i'm lustful as long as it's not like uncapped numbers and i get back around to a zero uh, percent uh fertility rate but i don't think it works like that because you can get minus like thousands and stuff and still have kids speed up again oh come on really nothing my little republican nothing's happening how far away is this under construction first of january's so it takes exactly a year. Eight, six, eight. Are we making money? We are, but not that much. Hopefully this trade part's going to help us out with that, though. So we're currently making 250. Oh, no, we're making 288. Balance is 250. That seems strange to me. I'd expect the income to be, like, a rounded number and the uh, monthly balance to not be, but I guess it just landed perfectly that way. So we check Republican trade zones now. Which is... Yep, we've got our little pink blob there. No one else had a chance to build them. I was hoping to see... Doom! Um, but again, I literally built on the first day, didn't I? So, it's not likely that anyone else was able to do that. Oh, trade part under construction. So, Herbert Carling is building the one here. I think if we give it a month, we'll be able to see where people have gone. There's no trade pot there, and I believe if we go on to the Republican trade zone, I'm looking for like a money map mode. Economic. Yeah, next to it right here is a really rich one. 75, it's so good. And 50 here, yeah, in the same trade pot, they're working on that. So it looks like my fellow Dukes are all trying to build in... You have that first trade zone. So, frack, frack, freak, uh, might be takeable. You've been looted, so I don't actually know how much you were. Oh, max loot is 58. And your max loot is 130, yeah. Uh, connected cap to capital is a brilliant boost, though, when it comes to trade posts. I was really hoping for that, but this is now built. It is. Uh, so let's check out Intrigue now. Okay, I thought there'd be a plot to take of that trade post. Who's fighting here? No, the troops, please. No idea. It's the Carling guy who's built the one in Lesbos, isn't it? Yeah. So if I was to conduct diplomacy, declare war, 
and I could go straight to try and seize that post. Um, Realm Tree. He has... Top levy of... No, I don't want... 877 troops. I have... I only have 500? I thought I had 800 odd. Oh, wait, uh, but yeah, let's. I haven't placed all you guys down yet, have I? Difficult claims, so descent, improved diplomatic relations. We're going to be building a lot in Constantinople, so let's try and get them to like us a bit more. Train troops. Obviously, we're the only place where we have troops at the minute. Uh, collect taxes. Uh, for the moment, yes. Because I want to try and get to that first thing. As for study technology, let's get to the tech map. And it's going to be trade practices we want, you know, level 2 if possible. So let's go to that map mode. Oh, we got one right near us. With two. Uh, you don't have much else, though. If I remember rightly, that's not brilliant. Nico. Let's go to the guy next to us, yeah, see if we can't annoy him. And steal technology from here. Because uh, that's all of you working on something. Um, I don't know how our individual tech's going to matter, because we're not the Duke. We might be able to do our own being the... having our little barony, but I don't think you can do tech for your own barony. You can just, just let me do it. Oh, of course, we don't have enough, so it won't say. Advance in your capital province of Lesbos. No, because it's this actual county, so I doubt we'd be able to do it. Um, if I took the capital... And then went for... No one's building them here. And that's a brilliant one. I'd like to go for that myself once I get the fort increased. What's that done to my troop numbers? Have I got to let him take over? I thought he was like a direct increase. Yeah, it's gone up to 600 and something. That's still not enough. Why does he have... He has a good martial skill, yes, but why does he have so many troops? And it won't show me, will it? No. <laughs> Current 642. Current 502. Do I have enough for merch to try and get a second trade post? If we go to the Republican trade map now... Actually, we've spread out quite a bit more than what I thought. So if I take this, then it is... We've got a Malfi. One, two, three, four, five. And Malfi's got all of its out. Venice hasn't even actually managed to create a solid thing there. Let's go to the family trade zones and just see our own. Okay, how have I managed to control that one? And you've managed to control this one. You Oh, because there's two people here. And 62 is not a bad number, actually. going to take more to come around this way and there. Uh, you know, not that good on that side. How much do you make? You make 10. You make 10. 8.8? .8. I thought being there I would get more money. And getting that much trade power... Uh, the total income from all trade posts owned by the Doom family is 8.8. .8. So yeah, going to Constantinople was actually a bad idea. Uh, so I definitely want the capital one so I can get the connected to capital. And if I was to take the smallest amount of mercs. Okay, I can hold them up for quite a while. Let's hire them. They're going to be sat there. And now let's see if I can... Right, Carlin guy. Declare war, seize the trade post. Can I be cheeky? You was also a good one, wasn't you? Who's that? If we go to... 
He's the Jew. Declare war, seize trade post. Even fighting both of them because I have the... We already have his army there? Uh, but because I have the... Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. In fact, actually, no. Because of the way that's worked out. The fourth guy is... Spolito family. I'm going to declare war on all of them. Just see what happens. Oh, crap. I didn't let the mercs get the morale up first. And his troops already have the morale up. Let's raise up everything I can. Oh, I've been dumb. He's got a lot less than me. But I have no morale. And for some reason, I can't pick the generals. I can, but I, oh wait, I'm the one in the... Why can't I pick the generals? Did we win? We won, good, and we got the siege. I think we won a few battles there. In fact, we burnt... Oh, no, we didn't burn through a lot of the troops. Damn it, I was going to say, that looked like we burnt a lot of the troops. Uh, but you guys merge back up now. No, cancel. Merge up. My mouse isn't quite behaving itself. Um... Let's see if we can't reorganise this. No, because it's all the... Yep. Yeah. It's the only thing we can siege here, isn't it? We can't siege anything else. So let's take the crossing. Oh, it's not actually a crossing, because we're going to go on the land and then come back over. Uh, siege this one up. And then walk over to there and siege that one up. Because we should get the ticking war score now. Which should be more than good enough to win the war. How's that siege looking? Yeah, I was expecting that falling quickly. Now if we match around to the other one where I think it's his troops. Yeah, Spondooly. Spondooly. Um, so we're going to get a good number of trade posts to start with. But it means we're going to struggle to expand where we want to. Because we've had to take where theirs were. And we are going to try and siege back that trade post. New unit. Lombard band is not big enough. Actually, no. Cancel. Merge back up, guys. Yeah. Do the sieging, and then we'll match you back around. Is he able to siege that back? Oh, he should do. He should um, instantly siege that back, almost. Yep. I'm trying to use the Saracen War. That's the Saracen War, so that's fine. Each of the trade post was lost. You're running away. You're going to escape. You are. So let's actually come and chase you down, then re-siege up in Athens. Uh, perfect. Pope's opinion of me. Brilliant. Uh, have we got a leading candidate yet in the Pope will see? No. Then again, we're under a Orthodox guy, so I don't know if we would. How's the siege looking? To be honest, 20 to 1. Just quick do it. I mean, we are losing money thanks to the mercs, so. March back up. For the love of God, I'm only 18 and I haven't had any kids yet. Don't. How have we not had any kids yet? <laughs> My fertility must be through the roof. How have I not had any kids? Are you getting away? 17th of January. 6th. No, you're not. Good. Because we need to kill you. You've managed to... Oh, brilliant. Yeah. His Majesty. Good. Let's go get that siege back. Although all these score walls are actually going in our favour because of the battles. So let's kill the Carling troops. We've actually got 100 against the Jew. Off a piece. Enforce demands, yes. Now, I don't think the Casus Belli would be 
valid now because I don't think you can claim uh, forcefully claim them in a war if you have enough. So is that still going to let me? It still is. Okay. Off piece. Enforce demands. And it's only this now. I think we can stand down our mercs. Stand down 1,500 men. Yeah, they're costing me 8 gold a month. And drop and re raise these guys. Because they've got to raise their troops here, I'm pretty sure, so we're fine with that. I will go to the lady. It's my what? Oh, my cottage. Yes. H have a have a lover. Get me some freaking children. We need them badly. Okay, they've fallen in love. That's fine. I'd like to hear that she's pregnant as well, and she's only a courtier. But I'm alive, so she she she, she um effed the life back into me. So I'm happy with that. I'd be happy if he'd raise some more troops, though. Uh, you are. Sieged up, aren't you? How do I tell if it's sieged up? I'm guessing I'm getting the war score bonus for it being sieged up, though. Yeah, I control it, so that's fine. And you make the Basilicus like me even more? You're doing quite well, to say. You know, I, I sort of debated on how good your scores was going to be. And Spondooly... Oh, no, he hasn't lost his first trade post yet. Uh, but you finally built another one. Which is... Koroi or something. Which is... No idea where. We'll leave it at that though. But I should be getting... Oh, you've got up to nine. Because you're now... Oh, this trade zone income is now 26. You've gone up to 9.5. Does it say why? Trade zone bonus has gone up. And how we're looking on the family trade zones. These are all clusters connected. All uh, Spondooly at the moment. But I think these will be clusters connected. Uh, that's my timer for no, this season. Oh, come on. Go away. Thank you. Um, as Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that means that we've run out of time. I'll come back in the next episode. We'll finish off this war and we'll see where to go from there. Um, I'm curious, actually, just quickly. Republic, my main guy. We can't declare war because we have units in... Oh, because we have units in his territory. Oh, we must have a Valley Casa Spelli. So, yeah, I think we no longer have that Casa Spelli. Uh, so that's just, you know, that quick bit of expansion that we can do. And then hopefully we've got to try and get the tech up to a point where we can actually have some men of lots of kids so we get even more. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.